My name is Erin. Today I'm going to show you how to use the AccuSetter app and in align embroidery designs on your project that we're doing. And it's a really cool way to do it because typically we use the, the template that comes with your embroidery machines. Uh, but with the AccuSetter app, we can actually put this one back in the box because we'll be able to use the app to align and take a photo and get it right where we want it on our project. So today we're going to make these towels. I have the, the hers here right now and we still need to make the his and what I want to do is align the embroidery so it lines up perfectly on this stripe and so the AccuSetter app is going to help me do that without needing to worry about getting it perfectly in the hoop the very first time so let's get started we'll pull up the design on our machine first today I'm using the memory craft 15,000 but the, we also have the Skyline S9 that is Wi-Fi enabled to be able to use with our AccuSetter app. So the very first thing I need to do is actually pull up the design on my sewing machine. I'll go to open it. In this case, I've got it on a USB. So we'll select the USB and we will scroll down. And here's my design right here, the his design. And I'll, I'll bring that up, okay? and. Right now, if I go in to my edit mode, you can see it's right in the middle of my design. But when I go and hoop my towel, my stripe, unless I'm super accurate with my placement and I use the plastic template, I'm not going to get that stripe right in the center. And so that's what's so great about the AccuSetter app is I'm able to have my design, take a photo of it, and then use the app to move it exactly where I need to, and then we'll send that placement back over to the machine. So right now, this is ready to go, and we will come over to my iPad, to my AccuSetter app. The very first thing you want to do is to find your sewing machine. So I'll select my sewing machine here. What it's looking for is that both your iPad and your sewing machine are on the same wireless network. If they are not on the same wireless network, you will not see your machine over here. So this is my machine, machine three. So I'll select that and then I can click receive. And what it will do is it will grab the design that I have and it's told it over here that I'm using the GR hoop because that's the one that I have selected. And right now, I don't have the image, the design embroidery here because what it wants me to do is take a picture of my design um, or of my project inside the hoop. So we'll go over now and take a photo of my towel in the hoop so I can find exactly where that stripe is in order to get that centered with AccuSetter to be able to send it back to the machine. Now I've got my sticky back stabilizer inside my hoop. When I'm working with thicker materials like towels, I love using the sticky back stabilizer because that allows me to only have to hoop the stabilizer. And it has a paper backing on it. So what I'll do is hoop it with the paper side up and then I'll take a pair of scissors and just very, very lightly score an X or a line down the middle of it and then you can tear away just the paper and that leaves your sticky right there uh, available for us to stick our project to. So this is great because then we don't have to worry about, especially with a towel or if you're using a thinner material for something that may end up with hoop marks where it kind of shows and um, does an indent in the fabric. The sticky back stabilizer is great for that. And so we'll use this and it is a tear away too. So once I'm done with this hooping and I've pulled it out, I can still tear away the back part of this stabilizer. Okay, so we've got my sticky stabilizer on here and it's tacky but not not too sticky, which should be just perfect for the towel. I've got my towel, and before we had AccuSetter, I would have to use the plastic template and line up exactly where I needed to. Maybe I printed out a paper template 
But with our AccuSetter app, all I need for this towel is I need to know my center line. I know that my design is going to be centered between these two lines on here and that this will be the center so that it's centered across the width of our towel. So for this right here, I have that and I'll pull the pins out before I start sewing, but those pins will help mark and you can mark it however you'd like to. If you're using a marking pin or actual pins, uh, some people will put down a piece of tape and then mark a middle line on it so that they can set it up and then remove the tape so that there's no marks on your project. Totally up to you how you want to do it. You just need to kind of mark where you'd like your design to be. And then I will go ahead and stick it on my hoop. And this is the great part. I don't have to worry about, like I can see right here, it's a little bit skewed, but that's okay. Once I take my photo and I align my design up, it doesn't matter that this is skewed. It's still going to sew out perfectly for me and I don't have to stress about getting it in the hoop centered. The final thing that I want to do before I take this to the iPad and get it set up within AccuSetter is you may have never noticed before, but on our embroidery hoops now, there are these little black lines and you'll see two on each corner right here, okay? And these will help us align up and calibrate our design with the AccuSetter app. And I'll show you more about that on AccuSetter, but in order to get this ready to take a photo of, what I will want to do is, I'll still make sure that this area is open so I can see the middle part, but we'll go ahead and kind of fold these corners in just enough so that I have all of my black marks showing for the calibration. So I can see those and I can also still see the middle. And that's all we need to do to set this up to be able to take our photo and get it calibrated in, in AccuSetter. We are ready to open our AccuSetter app, take our photo of our project and get it all calibrated and aligned exactly how we'd like it. So we'll click the AccuSetter app. We already have our machine, it's machine three, right here ready to go, so we'll click receive. That will grab the design from our sewing machine and it doesn't show up here yet, but what it did do is verify that the hoop is the correct one that we're using. So on the machine, we had the GR hoop. You can see right here, it says GR hoop, which means we now have this gray outline to help us align when we take a photo of our hoop. And what we're looking for is to get it about as accurately as we can and we want the iPad to be more or less flat and level. And the little dot in the center of the bullseye here will let us do that. If I tilt the iPad some, you can see it turns, turns yellow, where when I'm more or less level to get a good photo, it turns green, okay? So I'll do that and then I just wanna make sure, for instance, if I, if I come out too much, you can see that my frame's larger or if I go in too much, then my whole picture is smaller than what my iPad camera is actually previewing of my towel. So the closer I can get here, it's good, but again, don't worry about being too exact because our calibration in the next step will allow us to get it precise um, anyway. Once we get that level and we have that green, we'll go ahead and take a photo. All right, now we've got our photo. We will want to calibrate with these lines here. And so that's why I wanted to, even though we had the towel uh, initially covering those, just pull it back enough that we can get those in there. Because really all we need is this center point when we go to our line, our design in the next step. We'll take each one of these and line it up. With. So some of them will probably be closer depending on how your picture was. Sometimes I've taken them where I um, click on this and my, the black isn't even in there. I have to move it all the way over to find it. Just do the best you can on lining those up. They don't have to be super precise, but that's where it helps to if you can get the photo. See this one's covered with the towel a little bit, but even then we can have a, we have a good idea of where that's at. These are ready to go and I've aligned all of them. We'll go ahead at this point and click next. 
then this will show us the, the preview of our design to position it accurately. Now, because we brought this design into our machine first, it had it centered in the middle of the hoop. So we know that this line right here that will allow us to move it horizontally and vertically up and down, and then this one right here that allows us to move it side to side, okay? We know that this is going to be the center of the design. And then this down here at the bottom will allow us to rotate as we need. So because this towel we had placed it on, it was a little bit skewed, it definitely wasn't straight. All we have to do here is rotate this until we get it lined up with those lines. Now, I want it to be centered more or less on that darker gray band that's right here. In order to do that, let's first move it down to get it centered on there. And I really wanted it to be between these two lines here, which it looks like it's pretty close. I could actually rotate it just a little bit more to get it more exact. And then it looks to me like it's, it's pretty well uh, centered between these two lines and we've got the angle correct. The last thing we'll do is come back and you can see my pins right there. That was the center of the towel where I'd like it to be. We'll take this and just move it. We can move that big red line right over top of that line and we know that we have this perfectly centered. We're, now that we've got this good to go, our next step is another preview. We can see a little bit better the design and we can also edit the details. So say this design actually came in a little bit bigger or a little smaller and it didn't fit very nicely within these lines here. All we have to do is select our embroidery design and our tool button pops up. These tools are probably familiar to you. These are also available on the machine itself. So this will let you make the design a little larger or smaller if you need to, to fit it. You can use the rotating tools and also move it around just a little bit if you want to um, get those lines super precise. So that's a really great feature to have even in this edit mode once we get it to get that exactly where you'd like it to be. I think that we've got it pretty well centered. This looks great. I'm excited to see this done. So we will take this right now, click the send button. That will bring up our send options. We have our sewing machine already connected through the wireless network and we'll click send. And you can see right here, it's received on our machine. It does give us a little message just in case it changed um, hoop sizes or we did that through the iPad. Just double check to make sure you have the correct hoop size and click okay. And now you may not be able to tell here, but this has actually been moved a little bit. We had to rotate it a little bit. And you can see that if you go to the edit, you can see that when we first opened this design, it was centered here and now it's actually moved down. That was done with the AccuSetter app. So we've got it exactly where we need to be. So once we press OK, we can go ahead and get the towel on our machine and we're ready to stitch it out perfectly in place. Now that we have gotten our design all laid out and our towel hooped and on the machine, you can go ahead and remove, if you've used pins or tape to mark your center point, you can go ahead and remove those now. We don't need those anymore. So we'll, we'll remove those and get them out of the way. And because I am stitching on a towel and the towel has like the looped pile, I want to use a stabilizer that will actually go on top of the towel. And this stabilizer will keep the stitched design from getting buried inside these loops. So it, it'll show up a lot better if we use this topper. And so um, this is the topper. It's usually pretty clear and they make them with like a water soluble so you can kind of tear away and then get wet what you need to finish getting rid of to remove after you've done the design or a heat one where you can tear it away and then just uh, lightly touch it with a, a warm iron and the rest of it will go away. So this topper we're going to put on top of the design. I don't need it to be big enough to cover my whole towel area because really my design is going to be centered like we laid it out on top of this 
this uh, gray stripe right here. So we've got this here. We will actually be using the basting function on the machine to hold this down and baste it in place so it it holds it down while the machine is actually stitching the actual design. And we can do that from the stitch mode on the machine. We will come up to our basting button and we have different options here. I'm going to use the second option from the left, which will go around my design and baste this in place. So we've got that set up here. We'll come over to the machine and we will press start and it will it always is going to start in the top right of the design and come down and do a really loose basting stitch i like to kind of of course my fingers never get too close to the needle but i do like to hold down the stabilizer just a little bit as it's stitching down to hold it so that nothing gets folded or, or moved around too much as we're going. Great, this looks awesome. Perfect, okay. And now that we've basted this on, we are ready to stitch our design out. All right, we have now finished up our towels. You can see that we were able to get very accurate, perfect placement on the his, and then we went ahead and did the hers as well, got all the stabilizer removed, and I just really, really love using that AccuSetter app that we have for our Wi-Fi enabled machines to be able to get that perfect placement on things like towels or even things uh, like shirts or a zippered tote bag, many different options that you have available to you when you can utilize that AccuSetter app to get those perfect placement lines. Thanks so much for joining us.